Thank you for having me. My name is Elia Hurtavi. I am 22 years old. I enjoy movies, cartoons, sports, and I have a lot of different interests actually. Before, I was really interested in drawing and I have been learning academics of the basics. I've been learning graphic design. I've been learning different courses for 2D character designs and I never did any animations before, but in the future, I want to go to the university and study the animation in ATU University in Ireland. So before I found the project, I was actually just searching any vacancies which involve like 2D designs, drawing, or anything like this because I have a graphic tablet at home, I draw in from time to time and I thought like why not try to work for someone and participate in some project, you know, and I was searching, searching and then I found the Mayani project online and they said that they need volunteers and I was like doing arts like a hobby anyway so I thought why not just use it and help some people create something it sounds really nice and i also was really intrigued and wanted to participate in the project because i saw that there's a lot of different and artistic characters in the project from humans to creatures to animals and there's also a lot of anthropomorphic animals and with them you can be really creative and create almost anything like looking like i don't know like fairy tales so i was i was really intrigued and wanted to work with them so in the production team i started as a storyboard artist and later transferred to 2d character designer it entails that I was doing the 2D character designs. So we had some descriptions of the character, how they should look. Then I was drawing them on my graphic tablet in the Photoshop and sending examples of the results to Patricia, to the whole 3D modeler's team. And they were saying stuff like maybe we should change the way his eye look or maybe we should give him more long beard or maybe we should like i don't know add him some clothes with some certain characteristics so a lot of time it's not done from the first try it's a lot of changes to see the best final result for 3d modelers to make it to life let's say have been working remotely, which I personally do not see any problem with that because we live in a modern world and in our team there's a lot of professionals, a lot of people with talent and of course you're not gonna find them all like in the same place in the same city. So for me personally, it wasn't a problem at all to communicate with people from Zoom to talking to them on a Discord because everyone was really nice and always answering the questions and always giving the feedback. So it was just fine for me. The biggest challenge I would say was the fact that you never get design of a character done from the get-go. Even though you have all characteristics, how he look, how tall he should be, like, you never get it done from the first try. You need to like, redo it at least like five times and then doing a, like small detailed changes like the size of the eyes, 
the different face features, changing the beard to the character, changing maybe the way his arms or legs looks like, make it longer, shorter, there's a lot of changes and this is the hardest thing about being a graphic designer and a 2D character designer is you're receiving a lot of feedback and even though you do everything right this is the whole point of a job because we need to see the whole variations and pick the best one for the final results to 3D team to model I personally can't wait when the project will be finally launched and I could see it myself, see the characters I drew and see them come to life. I personally really happy that I was the part of this project and of course I'm going to be proud and end this information into my CV and hopefully it will help me in the future to find job and any other 2D character or something related to that. Mm -hmm.